Next question is from Greg on Instagram. Uh, had an odd occurrence today. I've been making a practice of checking my finished beer's pH after dry hopping to make sure my pH is not too high. Today, I kegged two identical beers, split batch, just fermented in different fermenters. One beer's pH was 448, while the other was 4.22. I thought 5.22. I thought this was very odd, so I double-checked the beers again with fresh samples, and the pH stayed the same. I kegged them up, and the 5.22 beer now reads 4.48. What the heck? I don't think you could have different pH layers throughout the fermenter, uh, like a thermocline. But that's the only thing I can think of. I'm just curious if you've ever noticed this. I now think I'll start taking pH readings from the keg to allow the beer to mix homogenize. Cheers and thank you for your knowledge. That one's got me. That one's got me on on my on my ear a little bit, man. Because yeah, I mean, both those beers should be reading four four eight. Uh, and ultimately, they both end up reading 448. Um, my guess is that there's an issue on the measurement side at some point, dude. I don't, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, that would be my guess is that there is something on on the measurement side. Um, you know, yeah, that's a strange one. That's a strange one. I don't want to tell you, brother. Um, but yeah, I don't think you have to take it as far as that. And and stratification of pH, I, I, I don't think is something that you have to worry about. Uh, just make sure that that uh, pH probe is uh, staying uh, staying appropriately stored, um, that you're calibrating and all those things and taking good care of it. Um, but that, that seems a, a little anomalous to me. All right. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.